Juno is fairly separated. I'm so sorry. Oh, hi. <laughs> sorry. Hi. Uh, we're coming in live from Snowflake Summit and not just on any day at Snowflake Summit, but the day after our big native apps announcement. I am here with Jeff Rothy from Full Contact. I'm very excited to hear about the native app that you launched. Tell us more about it. Yeah. Thanks, Mallory. Really appreciate it. Um, I wanted, before I jump into that though, I wanted to give your team props for our experience as a partner has just been awesome, uh, both from a partner experience standpoint and a customer experience standpoint. Customers uh, that are looking at launching apps, your program, although just launched, is very robust already in terms of how you evaluate apps, how you do technical checks on them. It's been great on the partner side in terms of speed. It's just the Powered by Snowflake team has just been excellent. We've had a great experience. Um, we have launched uh, just recently an app for identity resolution. So for folks that are not familiar with what identity resolution is, you know, within an organization, you have a number of different parts and pieces within your technology stack that will gather information about your customers. So you might have records coming from a CRM, you might have records coming from marketing automation tool, mm -hmm. from your call center. Uh, these are all gonna have parts and pieces of your customer's identity, email address, parts of their name, parts of their address, but it's a really big challenge to be able to tie those parts and pieces into one identity, one person at the person level. Uh, so we've launched a solution that's native within Snowflake that allows customers to just turn this on as a service. They can query against our stored procedures and get back a resolved person ID, and we also map the records that come from those systems, like your CRM, to that person ID. So it's a persistent piece that they can use across all of their customer information. That's incredible. I mean, as somebody in marketing, you could imagine that that makes me excited yeah. about what it is that you're able to do. Yeah. Um, I imagine that it had to be something that you heard from customers or was it more of a vision that you had? Like, I'd love to hear more about what was your journey to build? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of our customers come to us for identity resolution mm -hmm, mm -hmm. solutions in general. But we've had some really interesting conversations in market with companies like J. Crew, like with Granger, JetBlue, who are they're in their later or next phase of maturation of their uses of Snowflake and are starting to think much bigger about how they can use the unique capabilities within Snowflake and the scale for the data in new ways to unlock new value in their data. Uh, so they're starting to think about how do we build an identity resolution set of services and solutions native within our data cloud. Mm -hmm. So that's really where we saw the opportunity with this initial generation of our application, but we see a lot of opportunity to expand as a partner with the investments that you're making. Yeah, and I think you bring up an interesting point that you're going to start on this journey and that you even started with us when it was still in private preview. I think for yeah. other app builders out there, what is it that you think they might want to know or consider? What's something you learned along the way? Yeah, so I think for other app providers that are, are looking at the investments that they can make, um, I would real again back to what I said in the beginning about the props to the team. Mm -hmm. the, the, your team helped us validate the market. They helped us connect us with the right people that were hungry to help us with the technology. Uh, I would definitely recommend to any partner that's looking to make this investment and they're looking at the different investments they can make in their mix um, to definitely consider Snowflake. The, the scale of the marketplace with over 100 data listings, I think it was, they said in the keynote, 250 partners. There's a lot. Um, it's massive. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of Snowflake customers that are looking at how do we make the simplicity of managing all these applications at the data layer mm -hmm. easier and are going to be looking at how they use those to transform their business and get competitive advantage in the market. So there's a lot of opportunity for partners here if they're looking to invest. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I feel like the native app piece really makes the data cloud yeah, come to life. It does. Um, so we are at the show. Yep. You mentioned you attended the keynote yesterday and you were excited by some of the announcements. Tell us a little bit more about what you liked and what you heard. Yeah, so there were, there's a, a lot of interesting investments being made, you know, both and what we understand from what's happening next with the native apps, mm -hmm. as well as what's adjacent to the native apps that you're making in the core platform. Uh, so on the native app side, you know, we're excited about the capabilities to allow customers to have you know, UIs for their apps, to be able to see how they're being used, 
uh, the monetization of the data and the apps themselves, obviously very exciting as a partner, mm -hmm. but also the investments outside of the native apps in um, real-time streaming of data, uh, speed of data, uh, the uh, RBAC or the LBAC type controls that are really important for enterprise scale and scale of data. It, it is a really clear picture on where Snowflake is going to be able to capitalize on your, one of your key tenants around all data in the data cloud at scale and really be differentiated in the market. So, you know, we're really, we're really interested as an identity solution provider in the investments you're making around speed so that organizations can operate at the speed of the customer. Yeah, that was a cool announcement. I'm glad you liked that one. Yeah. So let's make our second to last question a little bit of a fun sure. one. What was your last aha moment? Uh, aha moment, yeah. So maybe I'll use uh, a really recent one from a personal personal excursion. So I just got back from Alaska. Oh, uh, We took a, a hike in Portage Pass, which is in Whittier. Uh, so it's, it's an old route that was used by, we understand, Eskimos and some of the early entrepreneurs in the area to travel across the glacier to get to Whittier as a main port. So anyway, awesome hike. When you get up to the top of this hike, uh, in the valley, there's a steep hill with snow on it. And I figured out that uh, using a camelback can be a impromptu sled when you need it. So we did do that. It was, a, it was an excellent trip. So that's my probably uh, my aha moment. I love that, I yeah. love that. All right, to close it out, tell us where we can learn more if we want to hear more about your app. Absolutely, absolutely. So you can certainly see us today listed in the marketplace at Full Contact mm -hmm. if you so choose. You can also go to our website fullcontact.com forward slash snowflake to learn more about the integration. Um, you can also, if you want to connect to us, if you're at the show, we're here obviously today uh, and for the rest of the show, you can contact uh, Monroe Melvin, uh, monroe.melvin at fullcontact.com if you want to try to set up an appointment while we're here. So really happy to be here. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much, Jeff.